Welcome back to Felsbrun on Farming Simulator 19 on my new Farmer Mode series, episode 4, with me, Mr. Sealy P. Well, here's the thing. <laughs> um, I really do hope the patch comes soon. <laughs> um, Barris, this message is for you. Um, look. Now, I was, as I said before, reliably informed this would happen. Um, Barris has said he's been checking on his one and he hasn't had this happen once um, so it's a bit peculiar when I started off in yesterday's episode and I said we have a pallet but obviously there's that problem that when you save and come out of the game and come back it respawns a second pallet and doesn't carry on filling the first I now have a second pallet this will only take four in here and the problem is in the time it takes me to record an episode I'm never going to get a full pallet at this rate and the stupid thing is as well, I've got one bale in one and one that's starting off in another. If I now check my animal screen, um, that's showing as wool 5 litres, which means one of them's got about 20-something litres in, the other one's got 5. By the time I finish recording this episode, I might be lucky enough to have another 20 litres in there. I'm going to have loads and loads and loads of pallets piled up here, all with about 20-25 litres in. Um, so, yeah bit of a problem like I say I mean fingers crossed we're, we're merrily whizzing towards Christmas and they did say the patch would be out before Christmas or for Christmas or it's a bit like World War 2 isn't it the war will be over by Christmas I mean potentially we could be after Christmas but we'll see fingers crossed um, so yeah there you go that's the wall pallet situation it is doing exactly what I was uh, told it would by Wombleway or Adrian or both um, it was one of you two gents. I think it was Adrian. And now if it was one more way, I've, I've, I apologise I got if I got it wrong. Right, it's time for lime, people. We need to lime this field. Um, I'm going to try to go for a large-ish lime spreader because I can use that for fertiliser spreading also. I'm not going to go for a sprayer this time. I, on uh, Ravenport, I went for a, a sprayer. This one I'm going to go for a spreader. I've still got the baler over there which is leased but while it's not being used it's just sitting there as long as I haven't still got it at midnight um, I don't think I'm going to do any more baling between now and then actually you know what I will do rather than the store come and collect it I might as well take it back because I'm not going to use that now mixed feelings on the old um, bale hack if you want to call it a hack um, you know it's there as a, an option that <laughs> you can do it if you want to but again like I've said before don't get bent out of shape over it. It, it you know any of the things I do or you see videos on or people showing hacks and cheats and glitches and things and ways of getting around things you don't have to do them just you know and I'm not saying that because anyone complained about what I did yesterday I'm just, I'm just saying I'm just putting it out there you know like I've said and keep saying the one thing I thoroughly enjoy and have always enjoyed about Farming Simulator is they try desperately to give you options to do what you want. Um, there are some things that have happened since 17 to 19 which seem to have gone kind of in opposition to that. Um, not majorly, but in the kind of efforts to make things more realistic. And again, I think we got used to a lot of stuff on 17 where people manage to find workarounds for certain things to save themselves time and energy and whatever um, and some of those things have been kind of not stopped but just reset I suppose <laughs> reset's probably the best way of putting it um, and obviously people have got used to doing things a certain way so when they get cross and they get angry they say oh it's ridiculous we can't do this now they've stopped us doing this it's not about stopping you it's just about they're trying to make it you know they're going into the next evolution of the game and they want things to work properly I suppose is the best way of putting it um, right I'm going to go for the Braidel K10S K10 that's not a 5 is it it could be a 105 it's a 105 not an S I really need to wear my glasses more um, and I'm going to go with an extension to the large extension uh, now here's the weird thing that I found I say it's weird I'm not sure but anyway because what I love about this new garage is that you can make all your modifications and you can see them all and that's all wonderful and lovely and you know woohoo now here's the thing 
Uh, if I put extensions on and I go for small, then big, fantastic. My price has gone up by $750, not dollars. Should be euros. I'll change that back again. It's because I'm bouncing between the two maps. That's one thing I... Again, sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. But I would have thought by now that if you've got a different save game, if you've got your settings set on dollars on one, on euros on the other, you'd think it would remember, wouldn't you? But every time you come, if you switch over, it's it's remembering your settings between each particular save game. That has pros and cons, I guess. But anyway, uh, so uh, as I was saying, if I now go to standard or narrows, I can have a look at those. Well, I'm spreading lime onto a normal field. I'm not fertilising, so I can have it on standard for the time being. Spreading discs. Now, if you look at the just under the Braidel logo, where it says K105, not K10S, um, I've now got a 14,000 litre capacity because I've got the extensions. And it says 12 metre spread. And I've got the spreading discs on the back at the moment, as you can see from that lovely, lovely picture, like there. Uh, but if I now change that to six metre spreading unit, which costs me an extra eight grand, if you look under the Braidel logo, the spread width hasn't changed. It still says 12 metres. So now I'm confused. If I'm adding a six metre spreading unit on there, does that increase the spread or not? If it doesn't increase the spread, if it's still 12 metres regardless, why am I paying an extra eight grand to have that on the back? Because like I say, if I, if I go to this here and I go back down again, it changes in the menu straight away. 14,000, 11,000, 9,000. Bomp, bomp, bomp. No problem at all. My tyres change immediately. So if I go to spreading disc, surely if I put that on, and that increases the width that should show in that menu shouldn't it i'm just saying i'm just putting it out there i i, I could be wrong i you know i suppose the thing to do would be to go out and test it on a field but at the moment i can't afford to i'm, I'm doing i'm doing me stuff you know i just wondered if anyone knows it has it made a difference on theirs i you know what do you think so that's what i'm going to go for uh we're going to buy that because we can then use that for fertilizing and things we are improving our lot in life. So I'm going to take this down to the dock. I could do this in pallets if I wanted to. But you know what? I don't go down there often, often enough. Yep. Whole new language. We're talking Mr. Silly P. It's a big old unit. Let's get my beacon on. God, it does look big, doesn't it? With those extensions on. That's massive. And that's not even the bigger one. So the money has depleted somewhat. Um, so once the lime's done, and then we'll get both those fields seeded, we'll get something in there. Uh, I'll lime one, and then we'll probably swap over, put fertiliser. So this is the thing now as well. How much lime do I put in? It's not a huge field, but I don't want to fill this up and have way too much left over because that will cost me a fortune but then I don't want to not put enough in oh, all these dilemmas well anyway all that said um, what I should have started off with in this epi episode is 21,000 subscribers what? that's insane um, thank you if you're new thank you and welcome if you're not new and you've been around for a long time thank you for your support of me of my channel of what i'm doing i'm glad people are enjoying it they're liking it they're subscribing you know once we get more mods coming out the mod reviews the guide twos are going to be more frequent obviously um but it's gone crazy it's it's i mean i say it's gone crazy it's it's crazy in a good way it's brilliant it's absolutely fantastic i love the fact the channel's growing it's amazing i'm getting like a thousand new subscribers a week at the moment which is that's mad but brilliant um, so thank you all uh, honestly from the bottom of my heart it's just it's amazing it truly truly is and thank you to you know all my regulars the guys you know who you are that I speak to regularly whether it's on Twitter or Facebook Messenger or Facebook or on the YouTube comments or all the various different mediums I go on the Giants forums and Discord and all over the place if you're a regular, if you're a person I talk to regularly, if you're a person I don't to talk to very often, but you message me every now and again, thank you. 
thank you for your support thank you for everything and it's it's just incredible it's a proper roller coaster ride at the moment uh, I'm going to put the line in this I think I'm going to go for about 5,000 litres 6,000 I don't know what to do I suppose if I'm only going for 6,000 why did I bother doing the extensions on it it's not eating into the finances too bad at the moment and I hit about 96,000 I'll stop That's not 96,000 litres. <laughs> 96,000 on my on my uh, the amount of money I have in the corner. I'm, yeah, I'm not. Um, I do like the fact as well that these covers don't open automatically now when you get to something that you have to open and close them. I suppose for some, uh, yeah, I don't know. That is a good thing in a way because it, you, you, they wouldn't open automatically. But then I suppose if you're not sure where seed and fertilizer refill points and stuff are as new maps come out that was always an indication that you'd driven past one or you were at one that it would open because on some maps it wasn't always obvious where they were um yeah anyway right so yeah 21,000 wow I mean just blows my mind I don't want people to think because it's coming around they, they are coming around very very quickly I've gone from I think 17,000 subscribers when I was on play on FS17, the week leading up to FS19 coming out. So I've gone up like 4,000 subscribers since the game came out, which is crazy. Um, and if you are new and you're starting out and you're struggling to get to your first thousand, or you're just over your first thousand, I've been there, I was there, I know. And it's a struggle and it's hard and you keep plugging away, keep doing what you're doing, keep being true to yourself, keep making the videos you're making because believe me it may take a while but all of a sudden you get that snowball effect the snowball builds in size and it picks up pace and all of a sudden you get this craziness and it's fantastic but yeah keep plugging away don't get disheartened because it it can happen it will happen and um and I, I i don't want people to think i'm getting arrogant or blasé and i know I think 20,000, I mentioned on Twitter and I think on my Facebook account, but I didn't mention in a video, I didn't, I know people often will do, you know, a 10,000 subscriber special, a 20,000 subscriber special, and 20,000 seem to come and go in a blink of an eye, and I don't want people to think I'm being arrogant and I don't care and I'm not interested, and again I'm back in that Cax 22 that I also then don't want to, every time I hit a 1,000, people think he's just rubbing our noses in it he's just making you know he's showing off that he's got you know so i'm kind of stuck in both camps i do appreciate the fact that people are subscribing and i'm blown away that i'm hitting these milestones but i don't want people to think i'm being arrogant or i'm, re I'm really not i'm just you know i don't know i'm just me just me doing what i do so let's see then let's lime Oh, I've only done this on my um, I think my guide to crops I think I did this on now how far a spread pattern is this going to have I haven't quite covered the edge let's get over a little bit I was warned by Elder11 to make sure I get the largest one of these I can afford because it gets through the lime at quite a rate of knots and it is going down right it's funny isn't it you look at a field and think that's not a very big field and then when you start realizing how quickly lime seed fertilizers going down you then start thinking oh this is a big field i love that powder effect it really does look very very good they've done a brilliant job on that i should have got more this is going to cost me a lot of money So I don't want to now go and get those spreading discs and check because that's going to cost me another eight grand to get those spreading discs. But it just it seems weird to me if they do spread wider, why does it not show that on the menu? Because if that's a change from um, 12 meters out to 24, then absolutely it's worth having. 
Yeah, I'm gonna need to get more, aren't I? What time is it? 4.32. The sun... Actually, the sun hasn't dipped behind the mountain yet. But if you look closer to it, you get into the shadows. But it's going to be getting dark fairly soon, I guess. It is cool. Um, what I will do, the next load I get, I will go to the store and I'll get pallets. Um, the price, I think when I did my crop... Um, uh, weed control, was it weed control? Yeah, whichever one it was. The weed control video, I'm pretty sure the pallets and the getting it from the lime station, the prices were almost identical. There was very, very little difference, so... Uh, it really doesn't make a lot of difference where I get it from. This is going to run out. But it will ensure me a higher yield, and that's the main thing. Right, I'm almost out. <coughs> I will need to get some more. Definitely. Let's work out how much I need now. Um, there we go. We're out. Looks like it's been snowing. It looks like a frosty morning. So to the store, like I say, we'll do pallets this time. I think I'll get, I think the pallets of lime are only a thousand litres, aren't they each? So, what do I reckon? Four? Four, maybe five? Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. If I've got too much, I can just unload it. Take it back down to the farm, unload it, and I've got lime sitting there. It, it goes down so quickly, it's not like you're going to have a surplus sitting there for weeks and weeks or anything like that, but... Okay, let's go on the old uh, tablet, so to speak. Uh, lime is across there, lime big, but they're not expensive to buy. Oh, they're 2,000 litres. Oh, that's not so bad then. Okay, well, I'll get... Uh... Oh, they're, they're only... They're 2,000 litre bags for 450. Uh, let's get one, two, three. 6,000 litres should be enough to finish it off. Not that I actually need to open that up, but... Let's get this in here, so that'll be another 6,000, that should be enough. So the, the old revs going up, I love that. PTO shaking. Oh, it's good. It's good, good, good. I'm a happy farmer. It's all good. I do like the fact, because I'm pretty sure on 
trying to think. On 17, a lot of these um, spreaders didn't have narrow options, or did they? I, I'm so... There was so much equipment and so many mods, I suppose, towards the end. You kind of... A lot of things you just got used to doing, you took for granted, you didn't think about it. And it's only been, like, three weeks since this came out. And already you think back, thinking, hang on a minute... I'm sure I used to do this on FS17, or I couldn't do this on FS17, or these vehicles didn't have this option. And when you say that on a video, people then come back and say, yes, you could. You, of course you could do that on FS7. You think, really? Could you? Did I? Have I forgotten already <laughs> all the stuff you could do or couldn't do? It's quite scary. When you reach my age, a new piece of information comes in, an old piece goes out. doesn't stay in there long that's why I have a notepad next to where I do my videoing my recording so I don't forget things and yet I still do like where my notepad is should be enough to get this done I don't want to go back again we don't want to go back again do we But the yield should be good on this. We should do all right. Need to pick a crop. I'm thinking soybean. I mean, that's kind of the default, isn't it? You fall back on. If you want to make money, soybean. Sunflower does all right as well. So, uh, yeah. God, that took quite a lot, didn't it? Well, that was two... Well, it wasn't even two full passes, was it? Okay. Okay, I'm mumbling to myself again, so, you know. Well, we don't own. We haven't got a cultivator, have we? That seems slightly excessive, but I suppose if I'd just been a little bit neater with each row, I might have got this one in without having to do this extra rundown. Please don't run out on this last little bit. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, it's getting close. Don't, 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 don't. Don't run out, don't run out, don't run out. Three, two, oh. Let's just stop it here. 142 litres left. Well, that's going to be worth unloading, isn't it? Mind you, I don't want to do that, you know. Cheaty, hacky type thing. Um, what I was told, have been told, is was that... And again, I might do this... Oh, why does it put it all over there? That's ridiculous. I don't want it all over there, do I? So now I've got to think... Where is it likely to put it? Unload. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> That's kind of where I wanted it. Um, yeah, I was told that if you plough this this section here and then use the roller it will put it back to this state that will definitely be a saved game and do it off screen to test I think um, but it's worth a go I, I, you know I have still got part of the driveway here but I just want to you know I want it to look nice you know uh, right so I guess it's cultivated next isn't it and I don't own a cultivator we're going to start running out of money aren't we? I will have to start doing some contracting and things like that Oh, I've got a cultivator. What am I talking about? That field doesn't need ploughing, though, does it? I don't think. I'm sure it just said lime, but we'll check that as well. That's why I'm glad we cleared this space of all the grass now.
Right, let's just check this very, very quickly. Nope, we're good. It says growth harvested. We've just done the lime, so it just needs cultivating now. The seed drive got doesn't, um, it's not a drill, so it won't direct drill without cultivation. So let's cultivate. I think we might swap over onto the, uh, the fear, I think. Well, at some point when we've made a bit more money we'll invest in some uh, some different cultivators and cedars and various different things but this is just get our fields going and then we'll do some contracting work and it seems daft not doing these while I'm doing contracting then these fields can be growing and doing whatever they need to be doing question is, do I lease a plough and plough these two together, <coughs> which will gain me a little bit of extra, won't it? I could extend them a little bit to give myself a maximum yield, or just to, do I leave them as they are? sure right I've hired a worker I'm gonna let him carry on and then what I'm gonna do I might at least a plow you know extend these what was that Mr. B got myself a plough. Unfortunately, I say unfortunately, I've got a Salford plough, that's not the unfortunate part, it's only two metres because with the horsepower tractors I've got, I've got nothing, the next one up is a 2.5 metre plough and it requires 180 horsepower which I don't have. So uh, now I'm assuming this works the same as it used to in that it's L1 triangle to allow crate filters out. It is. So I'm come forward a little bit, just to about there. And then what I'm going to do, to come back and tidy some of this up, I'm going to go for something... We'll go for interesting, I think. Windswept and interesting, a bit like my beard. And I'll drop that down about there. Like I say, we'll tidy up. that's joined that to that I could have done a straight line across and all the rest of it but you know it make it more fun when it comes to harvesting and stuff later on now this end I haven't got so much leeway here but I have from here so what I'm going to do this end again so we don't have problems with harvesters and whatnot if I drop it down about there and we sweep out that way. I'm 
I'm going to extend it a little bit this way simply because I can still gives me a bit of room at the end for harvesters and things to turn around can't remember who it was I've, I've mentioned it before in Let's Plays one of my subscribers way way back when I was doing this I think it was on Farm Simulator 15 and um I was trying to adjust some of the fields and change a few things and I said I can't I just can't get it right I can't get a straight edge and whoever it was said they'd worked on a farm 40 odd years and not a single field they owned had a straight edge <laughs> and I suppose most fields don't you know there will be a lot of fields that do but um, most don't should have gone the other way at this actually shouldn't I it's alright like I say we'll tidy up what we don't tidy up can stay as is because it really isn't the end of the world Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I could come out a little bit wider and bring it right to the border if I wanted to, but I don't think I will. What I'm going to do now is basically fill in all the gaps. Everything that I have uh, just kind of outlined is what I'm now going to fill in. At least I hope that's what's going to happen. If I can get that just right. Follow along the line from before with my front wheel. I probably could have come a little bit wider maybe here but like I say I want to make sure I've got enough uh, enough turning circle for vehicles and that kind of stuff I've missed a bit but again not the end of the world I don't this, this isn't one that turns over I don't think Right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to carry on. I'll fill this all in, and I'll see you in a little bit when it's all done. And hopefully, before the end of the episode, we can start getting some seeds in the ground. That's what I'm hoping to do. That was my intention from the very beginning. I suppose what I should be doing, really, is the leading edge of the plough, the front one, uh, just here, should always be on the edge so I should be going to the other end and coming back again but it's fine see you in a little while and uh, we will be finished hopefully I've got the spreader I've now got fertiliser in it what I have realised though is that's now ready fertilised zero weeds nothing sown by me it's now being cultivated I have extended the field further out this direction because it used to come straight across here so I've extended out the bottom as well and if you look on this bit now it says needs lime so all the stuff I've just ploughed all the new part of the field I've got to go with lime 
I've come up the side here I've filled in the gap between the two fields and the bit I showed you earlier around the top as well so I have extended it a fair bit now but all of this new ploughed stuff is going to need some lime so what I'm going to do is fertilize with the fertilizer I've got in the back of here um, the main bulk of this field here field 19 yep <clears throat> and then if that runs out I'm going to come back with um, lime and do the other bits then I can get the cultivator going again and you know, so on and so forth um, so what I will do is hopefully by the next time you see me a bulk of it will be fertilized the stuff that needs lime will be limed and cultivated and then we'll be ready for seeding I think <laughs> pretty sure pretty sure so let's get cruise control on get that turned on oh that's got a much wider spread much wider spread not that wide though oh blimey make your mind up where you're going there we go that's better now what I'm going to do is a, a tiny little test bit at the end where I'm going to go over the bit that's ploughed because if it shows us fertilised that's great I can put the lime over the top then cultivate I'll do it that way around it seems silly leaving it and then not doing it so what I'll do is go right to the very end all this top section is new the fertilizer has gone down which is great so what I will do now is go and check so this section brilliant so it's fertilized 100% what how is it that's weird but this section says it needs lime which is great but it does mean the fertilizer has taken hold okay now I'm is that because it's a new field? Oh, I wonder. Is it because I've ploughed part of this? Is this taken this as one fertilising state? Don't even notice that. Fertilised 50%. Yes, yeah, so all the new bit that I've ploughed is showing us 50% fertilised already. Oh, there you go. Okay, that'll make that a, little bit, that a little bit easier. Some other words that make sense. Insert your own words here right so like I say I'll, what I'll do I'll, I'll fertilise the whole lot then I'll fertilise the whole lot and then we'll um, come back I'll lime the bits that need liming cultivate the bits that need cultivating and then we will be ready for seeding That's, this has actually made this a fair sized field now we should get a pretty good yield off this the weed situation pff, I don't know I haven't had on Ravenport I've had no weeds whatsoever it's all very peculiar um, so we'll see what happens we'll deal with them as and when I will need to get a sprayer then to do herbicide or I could use a weeder whichever way around up onto the main road as you do fertilizer goes a lot further than the uh, than the lime does I've noticed which is a good thing fields 19 and 20 are combined we have Please tell me that didn't say needs lime. No. Um, so we are fertilised, we are limed, we are cultivated. Both are joined together and not a bad size. Um, yeah, the pallets are still going great guns. This needs to be tidied up a little bit. There are, of course, cheaper alternatives to cleaning your feed trough area than using a manatee. <laughs> It's just, I've got it here, so I thought I might as well just use it you know, while it's here. It does seem mildly excessive, but... And to be fair, all the stuff I did in the last episode, I could have used a front loader on, the, on one of the tractors. I have got a front loader attachment on the fence, I could have done that. But... I wanted a manatee. Don't tell my accountant. 
<coughs> he warned me away from he warned me away from shiny things that's better <coughs> right as far as these go what a palaver unloading you unload it put some three miles that direction so then you try and go if you go up against something that they can't unload one side of it unloads the other which is great if you didn't go exactly straight on it unloaded them but put them just over here oh, blimey oh and other than my previous comment that these don't open automatically when I go past the pallets it does open automatically so I take that back for all of you that have commented already before getting to this point in the video to tell me they do I've found out they do so <laughs> never mind um so, cock rain's done. We are going to seed. We really are. I'm keeping on with that plough just for a bit of um, off screen jiggery pokery and have a bit of a fiddle around and test a couple of things out. Um, I have been asked to do a guide to the repair um, system as such. Um, I'm still in two minds whether to do it. The concept is fairly straightforward. Unfortunately, making a video on it would be a little bit more complicated for various reasons. In that everyone seems to have things. That, oh, what's happened there? Uh, everyone's got different settings on. Um, so, so to try and get one clear, concise explanation to how it works is going to prove tricky. Plus, to get the the um, vehicle to wear down to the point where. I can kind of show it off properly it's going to take a long time and a lot of use so I need to be able to do it when I've got a, a, a bit of spare time that I can um, work through that whole system and do it properly because I want to do it properly I don't want to do a, a kind of uh, you know you know the phrase I'm looking for um, I want to do it justice so we are going to put it in the ground um, that's canola, that's soybean. We're going to do soybean. I'm just going to check the prices, actually. Sorry, I did the soil composition. Oh, you can see it nice and clearly on there. Um, all the bits that are dark blue are the bits I ploughed. They've all gone to second fertilising state with one application of fertiliser, but fields 19 and 20, the bulk of them, are on 50%, so they're going to need another fertilising. Uh, so I'll just knock that back to growth. Nothing in there at the moment. Showing as cultivated prices we are looking good on what's up in the 2000s now to be fair canola sunflower and soybean have all got prices up in the 2000s soybean does seem to have the highest though so you know what it will be a soybean crop just for a bit of money making It's now five past six. It's taken a little while to get to this point, but it's okay. And we are getting seed in the ground. Brilliant. That was in my head when I started the episode. Was I want to get these fields seeded? In this episode, I want to get them done. And then, you know, obviously my usual. Oh, I know what I could do. I could extend the fields. Oh, I know I could do this. I could, you know, and I, I get, I go all over the place. But I'm glad I got to the point I was intending to. Now obviously this is a fair size field and a fairly small cedar. This is going to take a while. Um, what I'm probably going to do off screen now 
is have a look around at a few different contracts, see what's available. Um, yeah, or I might leave it till the next episode and do. I'm definitely going to do some contracting anyway. That's kind of a given. I don't know if I'm going to do any field flips. I might just stick to the contracting side of things. See how this field goes. Um, see how much money we make doing a few bits and bobs here and there. Um, and kind of go from there, really. I suppose I could, you know, I could field flip the field next to me, which has got the corn, in, and then sell the corn. I've got a few options. So, um, I think that's probably it. We've got a fair bit done today. All at the main farm. I'm glad we got it done. And I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.